Clark's Rockin' Eve won't be rockin' in New Orleans. Good evening and thanks for choosing WWL Louisiana at 5. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice and Katie are off tonight. The National Network telecast has featured live performances from the Crescent City for the past five years, but this year that will be different. Paul Murphy is here with a look at why production dropped the Crescent City this year. Paul. Devin, the short answer is that the city and others that paid a hefty subsidy to attract the show to New Orleans decided against the investment this year. Since 2017, a nationwide audience has shared New Year's Eve with New Orleans. Lieutenant so Governor Billy Nungesser's office first approached Dick Clark Productions about including the annual festivities in Jackson Square on its popular Rock and Eve broadcast. You know, the end of the year, people are thinking about um, what's my New Year's resolution and honey, where are we going to go on vacation next year? The Louisiana Office of Tourism and others, including the city and New Orleans and Company, put up hundreds of thousands of dollars to subsidize the cost of the live telecast. When the show decided to go elsewhere this year, some suggested Rock and Eve dropped the Crescent City because of its crime problems. Not true, says New Orleans and Company CEO Walt Leger. It was never communicated that that was an issue. In fact, they loved being here. They wanted to continue to be here. They just wanted to receive a financial subsidy. Leger explained why his organization decided against paying the subsidy this year. Honestly, over the over the course of a couple of years, the amount of time that Louisiana and, and the city were receiving in the in the production to promote our city and our state seemed to be diminishing. Lieutenant Governor Nungesser says his office hasn't sponsored the event since Mayor Latoya Cantrell demanded singer and Louisiana native Lauren Daigle be pulled from the show three years ago. This followed Daigle's participation in a pop-up Christian concert in the quarter in violation of the city's COVID restrictions at the time. We're surely open to partnering going forward and bringing that event back if we can do it in a way that promotes all the good of Louisiana. In the meantime, there are other New Year's events in New Orleans attracting a national audience this year. You've got extensive coverage that we'll be getting from a national, semi, national semifinal football game, Texas and Washington coming into the city. Um, a lot of excitement around that. In addition to the Sugar Bowl, the Pelicans are also playing the Lakers on New Year's Eve in the Smoothie King Center.